everybody. This is Kat with Spiritof12.com, and I'm here with Greg from the Poorhouse Bar and Grill in North Bend, and we are standing in front of the newest, most amazing RV renovation. So go ahead and tell me, what, what are you guys doing? Uh, we're trying to build a, a Seahawks rig that nobody's done before. Try to do uh, something that's just going to blow people away, hopefully, when they see it. So what's going to make it so special that it's going to be that unique? There is things on this thing that nobody's done before. It, uh, not only is it going to be green, it'll be loud, it'll uh, make a definite statement. Uh, there is a full rolling bar on wheels. I mean, this thing's set up just for partying. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Why don't we go check it out so that right. everybody else can see. Come on, guys, let's look at this. So, not only does it have the Poor House Bar and Grill, which I have personally been to, and it's awesome, <laughs> indoors you. and outdoors. It also has the Seahawks insignia and logo. So, I know this is kind of gross, but it's never been used before, in, in my assumption. Check out this potty. Can you explain the potty to us, please? It was uh, my brother's idea. We, uh, I wanted to try to take credit for it, but he wouldn't let me. And uh, he said, you know what we should do? We should put our uh, opposing teams from our division in the urinal. And I agreed 100%. The only thing we're missing now is the Steelers logo and the little flapper on the bottom. Oh, well, I'm just going to let that lie right there because it says it all. <laughs> so I'm going to spin around here to my right. Sorry, guys. Um, this is going to be a full bar area. It's a full bar. We, uh, there's an eight-button soda gun. There is uh, speed rails. It's... Uh, all the bottles in the back light up blue and green. There's two taps inside, two taps outside. So it's, uh, it, it's basically a miniature bar on wheels. And I've also noticed, you know, in and among the, the gorgeous carpeting and the sound barriers and stuff, the blue and the green LED lights. Did it to match Questfield. So as you notice, every time you pull up to Questfield at night, the blue... Blue lights are on one side and green lights are on the other, so we did it to match. This place is going to be unbelievable. So are we going to be able to come back and see it in different stages? Oh, yeah. Yeah, in another three weeks, we should have it painted. And uh, hopefully a couple weeks after that, we should be 100% finished up. Wow. And how long has it taken you to get to this point, That where we are right now? Uh, we started working on this uh, uh, probably a couple weeks before the end of last year. Wow. Before the season ended, so it's been over a year. It, it's been over a year that you've been working on this thing, and now you have a special name for it, and m the, the secret birdie told me that you had the light license plates. Do, do you actually have, have those? We do actually have the license plate. I'll, well, I'll have to show them to you, yeah. And are you going to let us know now, or are we going to unveil it? It is the 12th man tailgater. 12th man tailgater. So there you go. you got to come to the north lot, see the 12th man tailgater. That horn is going to go off. <laughs> and booyah, the game is going to start, and it's going to be unbelievable. So hopefully we'll be able to see you guys soon here in the Party Mobile. You will, and hopefully you'll join us for a cocktail. Ooh, all right. Well, on that note, I'm out of here. I'm going to go have a cocktail with these guys. I'll talk to you later. See you later. Oh, my God.